Welcome back friends. Here in this video, we're going to create an instance for Amazon Certificate Manager, uh, which is available uh, as a service under the uh, security, identity and compliance uh, options on the Amazon dashboard. Here you can uh, create an instance for Certificate Manager by going through the dashboard options. So as it says, uh, ACM, uh, Certificate Manager uh, makes it easy to provision, manage, deploy, and renew SSL Secure Socket Layer TLS certificates on AWS platform. So you can provision various certificates, the SSL and TLSL certificates, and you can create a private certificate authority as well for you and your IT administration team to enable a secure managed infrastructure for issuing and revoking private digital certificates. You can get started with uh, both the options from the get started op uh, option available here. So it is a documentation for ACM. Uh, you can get an overview. If you have any doubt and you want to check any updates, you can go through the documents. All the recent updates are being published here and the complete uh, detail here. Then uh, here it is an option. We can import a certificate. We can request a certificate. To request a certificate, we have to uh, provide a authority. Uh, you can choose from the private certificate body or the Amazon body. Go through the any option. You have to provide the certificate body. Uh, you, uh, you can request a public certificate. If uh, you have you have public certificate, you have to provide a domain name based on your organization. Uh, for example, say www.abcdwxyz.com or thing like that. .co.japan. You are issuing a SSL certificate for a specific website. You can choose for the DNS validate, validation or email validation, which will be validated uh, for you uh, in the, either of the mechanism. In the first case, you can obtain permissions to modify DNS configurations. And in the second case, you won't have permission. Uh, for email, you have to provide the email ID associated with your account. And when you are done here, you can confirm and request the option. The authority type could be a subordinate CA here. Currently, you have to provide the details of the organization say anything, uh, what is the name of your organization, the unit of the organization, the country uh, where it is uh, residing, the state and province, and more like that. The common name, the locality name. So you can create an SSL certification uh, and make your website more secure. It will be available to your users in a secure fashion. The phishing could be quite difficult if you opt in an SSL certificate. You can provide uh, various options, the common name for your and hit the next option. You can always uh, choose from the advanced settings and that is available here. You can choose from the RSS certifications, the ECDSA, or more, uh, the algorithms that are used to generate the key. You can also enable the certificate revocation list, CRS, your S3 bucket. Uh, you can uh, link, provide a link to your certain S3 bucket related to this list. You can provide a custom CRL as well. And then uh, finally, if you are done, I hit the create uh, and confirm option. With your own encryption keys on Amazon Cloud, you can manage your own encryption keys with FIPS 140Q Level 3 validated HSMs. You have Java cryptographic extensions, a Microsoft Crypto NG, and different libraries available to you with industry standard APIs.
The Cloud HSM, which is a standard compliant and enables you to export all of your keys to most other commercial available HSMs, subject to your configurations. You can have a fully managed service, which automates time-consuming administrative tasks for you, such as uh, hardware provisioning, software patching, high visibility, and backups. You have to you have quick scaling availability and the capability to remove uh, different capacities on demand with no cost. Uh, there are uh, huge benefits with uh, Cloud HSM. You can generate and use encryption keys. You have the control of your encryption keys. You can deploy uh, secure compliant workloads. You have uh, load balancing and high mobility options. You can use an open HSM built on industry standards and it is easy to manage. So how it works, you have a cloud services instance running on Amazon Web Services, be it on a virtual private cloud or a public cloud. You have a cloud HSM running as an instance within a VPC on AWS. You can add an SSL uh, authentication to your application by an HTML SSM client. Suppose a client uh, uh, makes a request uh, for a website, it will pass through the cloud HSM, uh, reflected back to your dashboard, and authenticated by the SSL on the application and HSM level. It runs your uh, Amazon VPC and enabling you to easily use your HSM application running with uh, Elastic Compute Cloud or EC2 instances. You can add a uh, standard to your VPC security controls to manage different uh, data centers on cloud. You have different things, uh, separations based on roles and things like that. There are various implementations or use cases of uh, HSM. Uh, you have the offload uh, SSL processing for web services or secure software layer as SSL uh, authentication uh, you can use uh, to confirm the identity and web server to add an HTTPS connection uh, via the certificate manager and other tools. Uh, you have the protection of with private keys for an issuing certificate authority using public key uh, infrastructure or PKI uh, for entity to issue digital certificates for your organization to store the private key and uh, sign the certificate request so that you can securely act as an issuing uh, certificate authority to issue certificates to your organizations. You have to enable a transparent data encryption for Oracle databases. You can use a uh, cloud HSM uh, to store different uh, types of encrypted data. It could be supported with SQL Server, uh, RDS, and different kinds of databases as well. So this is a example with using cloud uh, HSM with a VPC. Here we have instance of HSM connected by SSL to different uh, VPC instances. Here uh, we have uh, one application instance running similarly. We can have our uh, different instances running simultaneously in sync with each other. There will be on an authentication stage of our hardware security model that will be authenticated via the cryptographic keys to the client. We have different kinds of uh, certificates for hardware as well. The hardware certifications, the manufacturer hardware certification, the HSM certification for cluster and cluster CSR. Uh, we could also integrate uh, HSM with uh, different applications or cloud vendors as well, like Appian, SAP, and different tools like that. Uh, we could also integrate with uh, VMware Cloud. We have the cloud HSM uh, where we have uh, a person to have the control keys and crypto operations. Then there is an AWS administrator which uh, manages the appliances and different uh, DevOps tools. We could also integrate it with our different kinds of uh, network uh, instances or services with subnets, uh, resource groups, 
and different things. It will protect you from a malicious uh, invader uh, for compromise to front end instance. It will protect you on the hardware level or for the database level with certificates and things like that. We have bucket. Uh, we can add the security to your uh, bucket by allowing you to back create backups authenticated with HSM, or you can restore to the new with HSM. You can perform these operations uh, both graphically and with a CLI command line interface of Amazon command line. 